got Miss Jackson in the building, and she's about to take a shot. She's about to take a and shot. Oh, get, getting right into this. Right, we're already. Everyone who's taking a shot, not me because I don't drink. You're trying to get me intoxicated. No, <laughs> I'm trying to get you on a good level. Okay. On a good level. All right, we taking. The, where's yeah, your, wait. Where's your shot? I don't drink. You don't drink? Yeah, I used to. Long story. That's okay. Yeah. You tried to hit. You tried to make me hit the blunt though. Yeah. <laughs> that was a. That was an offering. It's all good. I'm gonna take the shot. I'm done. All right. Come on, y'all. Can we get some claps or some? What do you guys? What's the sound effect for shots? Say that. She won't take the shot till we get to 200 claps. Oh, everybody, get to 200 claps, and we're gonna take a shot. Okay. Ryan, you're so smart. Uh oh. Uh oh. Somebody saying claps. shots Clap of it up. weed Three liquor. Claps. Yes, Ryan. Shots right. of weed Come liquor. Come on, guys. <laughs> clink, clink. We clink, gotta clink. take the shot. Yay! Right. Come in! Hey. All right. Oh. Well, you know I gotta start you off with a gift. I love gifts. Right, me too. This is a gift from Slapwood. Okay. Uh, we got a cute little uh, sweatsuit in there for you. Oh. I know. I know you like uh, clothing. Yes, I do. I'm obsessed. <laughs> right. Okay. Should we open this or just? You yeah, know. you can go through it. All right. <laughs> You feel me? Just, you know, at the crib. At the crib. At the crib, loungewear. <laughs> Yo. That's how you feel? You okay? Yo, you know how I'm like, Not wait. with the bag. Yo, Ooh. <laughs> Your kid is a little disrespectful, Shirley. <laughs> Yo, I get really sad when people tell me I gotta train my dog. Oh, no, it's okay. Girl, I got three and they all disrespectful. Yo. <laughs> so I'm like, do I have to take them to, to this is like the perfect example of, you know how you have the five-year-old and they just want to be around the adults? Oh my God. In the adults conversation, want to know what the adults, Slim. Yeah. Slim. Like, that's, what do you, that's how you feel? <laughs> Dang, mama says she, he wants to get under Miss Jackson. Oh my God. Clap it up, y'all, clap it up. Can we get some claps on porn? Ow! Thank you. I'm like a little. This looks like what is that? What is that? Yeah, go find it. Go find it. <laughs> Yo, their their hearing be like really good. Right. What are your dog's names? So I have Lady, Champ, and um, they mistakenly had puppies, and I got. Wait, they. Yeah. <laughs> Mistakenly. Wait, were they like <laughs> fucking? Of course. <laughs> In Vegas, we. Oh uh, my god! I took them on a trip to Vegas. And you know what? What happens in Vegas is supposed to stay in Vegas. Right. That was not the case. We took home four puppies in Vegas. So, yeah. Um, Wait, I, how was just that process of your dogs giving birth? Like, what? What do you do? Um, you know what? So, I already planned for the pregnancy. They. There's a thing called a whelping box. Okay. Um, so I already prepared for that, and around her due date, um, she had her box, and I helped her give birth. It was like 2 a.m. in the morning. Um, and one of the puppies uh, I ended up getting stuck with because she was the runt, and we had to keep her longer. Uh, and they uh. were so attached. So, yeah, and that's Minnie. So Lady Champ and Minnie. Wow, you have a whole family within your... A whole yeah. family, yes, I do. That's adorable. <laughs> do they get to play with other dogs? Um, yeah, at doggy daycare. Oh, okay. It's like a... When you have a dog, it's like a, a whole dog network. Um, Aww. It's like a Wait, a, Slim a thing. needs to be in that network. You don't know about that? No. So there, there are places that, that are dog boarding. Like when I travel, oh. I have... I drop them off at dog boarding. Got it. Um, and when they go to dog boarding, they can go in doggy day camp with, and play with other dogs. Got it. So yeah, it's a whole thing. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, wait. So part of the show uh, is trivia questions. Okay. And wait, do I have to be smart for this? No, 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 no. Let me see. Wait. <laughs> I feel no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> are they common sense? No, I'm joking. Yeah. I'm joking. I'm joking. All right. Are y'all ready? Oh, they're meant for you to get wrong. Okay. 
But then you just gotta take a shot, but it's okay, right? I'm down for another shot. Yeah. All right, uh, which one of these fast food chains opened its first location in Miami? Cause you know, you from Miami. I am from Miami. <laughs> okay. Uh, the, option, the options are KFC, McDonald's, Dunkin' Donuts, or Burger King. I'm gonna need y'all all to clap and vote uh, what you think the answer is. Ooh. Which one, what do you think it is? Um, I'm gonna say Burger King. Ooh. Can I switch? Cause you said ooh. Oh no, wait, you got it right. Oh, I did? <laughs> Yay, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Wait. Okay, okay, okay. I'm dead. I'm gonna take the shot cause I got it right. Yeah, How about exactly. that? Okay, okay, okay. Exactly. <laughs> but in addition, because we're all wearing uh, black, did this, I... is, this is a gift from Ice Fire. You see that little dab right there? Oh, okay. Yeah, I, this is, this is, yeah, it's lit. Oh, it's okay. Y'all just giving me all the you goodies. You film, and it matches our attire. I see that. Right? Okay. Slim, <laughs> so you like I, this? What is that? I like gifts. Just keep them coming. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. G-Easy said it was like Christmas on here. Uh-huh. I was like, you know, do you know, uh, I had Rosa Acosta on here. Mm -hmm. She has hella dogs too. She does. She's a dog lover. Yeah. It's adorable though, cause I'm just. How like, many dogs? She uh, she like rescues them from like the DR where she's from. Oh. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. But um yeah. Let's not get into it. that. That's like sad. Right. Yeah. Man. Uh, well, I was gonna ask. So yeah, being just you know, I feel like yeah. What was what was Chantel like in Miami? Like yeah. Mm. What was I like in Miami? <laughs> Mama liked that question. Shout out to moms in the building. Clap it up, clap it up, <laughs> clap it up. <laughs> Yay. Mm. You know what? I was, I was, I wasn't even Miss Jackson yet. Oh, shoot. That? It's like, does it make sense to and say what? I'm, in the making. In, in the, the making. making. Yeah. Thanks, thanks, Mama Jackson. I love that. Yeah. Mama was there the whole time, okay? Right. Yeah. <laughs> So yeah, I would say in the making, um, young, um, figuring myself out and all that good stuff. Uh, I moved away um, from home. I moved to Vegas and then from Vegas, I moved to LA. Um, but I'm pretty much back and forth, but LA is, is more work for me. Mm. And then I'm um, going back to Miami, like of course, like my family is there, but I feel like I go back to Miami to spend and enjoy the money that I've made right. everywhere else. That part. Yeah. That part. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Do you miss it then? Just being in For sure. Of okay. course. Like Miami, it's, I'm sorry, but it's no other place like Miami. Like and in, you're from Miami, Miami. And I'm, I am from Miami. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's like it's Miami nice. has the good food, the, the great clubs, um, great beaches. Um, I know you love beaches. I love beaches beaches for sure <laughs> and the amazing weather like i i love the humidity humidity is oh amazing God, for your too. skin like i got I didn't, a hot yoga so i love humidity yeah, yeah. see what i'm saying it's yeah. it's great for your skin it's great for your hair it's miami is just a shit <laughs> yeah and everybody's moving there too that's what i that's literally everybody's moving there i looked at um like a how houses Ooh. to like buy like another place or something. I'm like, where did these outrageous prices come from? Right. And I'm like, damn, everybody is moving to Miami. Wait, so are prices still affordable? Cause aren't people also moving cause it's affordable? Girl, they're starting to have like LA type prices in Miami. Oh no. Yeah, it's getting kind of crazy. They did that in the Bay cause I'm from the Bay. Mm -hmm. They started just, cause it's all tech and it's all rich. And I'm like, yeah, wow. They're up in the ante everywhere. Yeah. So yeah. That's crazy. I know. <laughs> he just like he needs the attention. He, does. he wants the attention. Can I have some slim? Right, slim, slim. Can I have some like attention? Like he has no idea what he's doing here at all. And you just let him do it. Okay, wait. It's someone else said that to me. I'm like, wait. Where's his toys, Slim? I where's your toys? I forgot them. Slim and Chim. Champ. 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 Aww. Yeah. Yo, he loves other dogs more than people. He does. Yeah. We need to have a play date. Yo, for real. I threw him a birthday party one year. No. Yeah. See, like you're in that whole like 
dog mom like realm or world like Yo. you threw him a birthday party yeah did other dogs come a few <laughs> did, were dogs there for us so. yeah lexi brought her dog um yeah oh yeah see you've gone further than i have like yeah. I, i've had private parties at home yeah you've actually thrown him a party for other dogs to come yeah so yeah we had CBD treats. It was lit. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'm done. But next birthdays, when's, Slim, when's your dog's birthdays? Uh, at the top of the year. They just passed. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, what beaches do you like? Do you go out to beaches out here in LA? Um. Yeah, I do. Like, I would, I would say, if anything, like Malibu. Um, I love to go to Nobu yeah. right there or um, Malibu Cafe. Wait, do you need a reservation when you go? Um, <laughs> I kind of just walk up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, because I we haven't been, so I've been trying to go with my brothers. Uh -huh. And we're like, wait, you need a reservation like weeks out. And we're like, fuck it. <laughs> no, I don't know. Just, just walk up. Just walk up, yeah. she said. <laughs> just walk up. Just walk up. I'm dead. What do you? What's your order at Nobu Malibu? Um, you know what? I wouldn't even say I get anything good that they're really known for. Like I don't eat fish or oh, wow. crab or shrimp. Like I'm a vegetarian. Okay. But when I go there, I it's more for the ambiance. Right. And um, it is by the water, of course. Right. But I get um the vegan cut sushi rolls. They got a vegan cut sushi roll. Yeah. Damn. Uh-huh. Um, they have like a mushroom plate and then they oh, have okay. salads. Okay. Boring stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm sure it's bomb. Yeah, it is still good. Yeah. Ow. I can't. Okay, we're gonna do another trivia question because okay, Slim is wilding out, y'all. Hi Slim. Yo. Oh, look how good they look. Oh. oh. <laughs> My dog is out of here, y'all. Like, what is going on? Ultimate dog mom, thank you, Aaron. That means a lot. <laughs> hot yoga is my shit, yo. Have you been a hot eight yoga? Um, clap yeah. it up, y'all, for for you guys. Clap it up, clap it up. Yeah. So I used to do hot Pilates. Mm. What? Where's that at? <laughs> um, you know what? It was. I think the place is in. Genius. It's. It was off of Sunset. Okay. Um, but I haven't gone. I started, um, I haven't gone in the longest time. Now I have a trainer, mm. um, three days a week and, you know, just trying to get this body right for the yeah. summer and all that good stuff. The pressure. The pressure. The pressure to look good. Right. Like, oh my gosh. Yeah. It's the pressure. That's literally what, that was one of my questions if you worked out. Um, yeah. So I have a trainer three days a week. Um, and then in between those days, like I do my own cardio. Mm. So what does cardio look like? Um, either the stairmaster. I hate the stairmaster. Yeah, girl. Sometimes we gotta do stuff that we hate, Yo. but we gotta do it. Right. So, yeah, either the stairmaster or I walk at the incline on the treadmill. Mm. Or you know what a really good cheat code is? Yeah. Is doing um, some really fast sets of either squats, um, ab workout, uh, calf raises in the sauna. Oh wow! Yeah, so it's I like I love. I literally love hot eight yoga. It's hot yoga, but it's like I crave that. Like mm -hmm. I, I literally go like every day. It's yeah, see. Yeah, I'm hooked. Like, how, were you hooked when it was hot Pilates? Um, yes and no. You know what? I'm the type of person that I hate to work out. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. But when I see those results, yeah, it's just more of a like, yeah, I gotta be in here. This is what I need to be doing, and that's why I got a trainer. Right. Like to. One, the trainer knows what they're doing and target, targeting what I think like my problem areas are. Yeah. But to make me do it. Right. So yeah. Damn, that's crazy. Mm -hmm. But I was gonna ask, um, just genuinely cur curious, because obviously, yeah, you <laughs> dated Floyd Mayweather, yeah. who is just all bullshit aside, he's an incredible athlete. I feel like someone told me he would like jump rope for 30 minutes and then yeah. go run. You know what? I can't take anything from him just as a, a athlete, just from what I've seen or anything like um, amazing work ethic, amazing gym ethic, um, all that good stuff, like control, control, control when it comes down to that training. So, right. Yeah. I'm like, 
I could, yeah. Did that motivate you to work out? <laughs> um, yeah, in a sense, like, I guess when, when you're with someone, what they're doing can kind of like, um, um, like bounce onto you. I'm probably not using the right term. Yeah. But I hear you. You, you know, you, you, you want to get more into fitness right. and, um, kind of dibble and dabble like what they're doing. So, right. That's crazy. Uh, well, also, you know, a huge part of the show is mental health. Um, so, you know, you went through a lot. Um, how was that for you and how are you now? I, I, last time I interviewed you, you said you were doing great and I love that energy. And I just want to take the time to say thank you for being such a positive, radiant soul. You know, like you can just feel it and we appreciate it. You know what, just in general, um, from whatever situation you live in, you learn. And whatever I've went through or been through, I am the person I am today from it. Fact. And sometimes it can be hard going through certain things, um, but you you have to stay positive. Right. And I know some people like think of that and they're like, well, how can I stay positive if this, if this and that is going on? Um, it's normal and it's human to think of negativity. Right. But don't dwell in it. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like you can be in it and you got to snap out of it yeah. if you want to move forward. Yeah. And that's what is important. You have to move forward yeah. if you want to, one, either grow or see the different direction into what whatever situation is pulling you into, if that right. makes sense. Yeah. So, yeah. That's crazy. Like, how did that feel, though? Like, how difficult was it to move forward and just... Um, I want to say it was really difficult to move forward. It's just something that I had to do, just in right. general. Yeah. Like, to, to continue to be me, to thrive, to um, grow my brand, grow myself, continue right. my business. Right. Like, if you stay stagnant, that's where you're going to stay. Yeah. So. And when did you start Shoe Gummy? Oh. So... <laughs> Um, shoe gummy, I, w I would say shoe gummy was an idea in 2009, I would say. Um, for those of you who don't know, shoe gummy is a outer sole pad. You can kind of see it. She got them on, y'all. I have them on. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's Where are the claps at? Thank you. Clap it up, clap it up. <laughs> it is matching the bottom of my shoe. It is a nude it one. It is. Yeah. Genius. So, I I can honestly say I'm obsessed with heels. Yeah. Um, I can wear flats, sneakers, all that good stuff, but I prefer to be in heels. It what's it's I feel good in heels. I feel like I look good in heels. I'm confident <laughs> in heels. But, um, you know, it's like a thing when we put on heels and you're like, yeah, my body is sitting right. Yeah. <laughs> like my ass. Ruby Rose was saying the same shit to me. That's yeah. so funny. It, I don't know what it is, but it is a thing. She like, was like, it makes me feel like a girl. <laughs> it, it's sexy, yeah. confident. Like when I put on my heels, I feel like my ass goes from, oh, okay, yeah, that's cute. Yes. But, clap it up. Yeah, clap it clap up. Clap it up for the ass. Yeah. Can we get some claps for the ass? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Hey. So it's like with putting on heels, my ass goes from, oh, that's cute, to like, damn, where I get all that from. Yeah. It's like really a thing, yeah, Shirley. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying. Yo, I went, because I used to go clubbing and all that shit, and I have so many heels, and I just they're just all sitting in the closet, because I just... Shirley. Yeah. You need some shoe gummy, Shirley. Oh, yeah, shit, we do. Damn. Yeah. Right, don't look at the bottom. <laughs> I, I was like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Shirley, that's okay. You don't got no gummies under there. Yo, fact. We're going to change that. <laughs> wait, does Chantal always carry shoe gummies with her? You know what? Uh-oh. I did not. Chris, no shoe gummies? I, I was like, you know, I'm going to come over here, make sure my shoes do have my gummies yeah, on the yeah, bottom. Yeah, no, you didn't think that far. Got, got For you. sure. Yeah. That's okay. That's okay. I love it. But what are those shoes? Because one of my... Uh, Intern's questions was, what are your favorite heels to wear shoe gummies with? Um, my favorite heels to wear shoe gummies with? Any shoes that's going to hurt my feet. Oh. <laughs> you know what? I would say that I've worn Those heels. Those look like they hurt. You know what? I would say that, <laughs> if anything, 
it's a point, it's a pointed pump. So that's just that's just out of the question okay. right there. Our toes are crammed in this in this point. I mean, it is sexy. So I don't know, what do you want to do with that? Right. But the shoe gummy is gonna help with the pressure on the balls of your feet. Right. So you either get one out of the two, and I'm gonna help one out of the two. Yeah. So yeah. Um I would say I'm definitely a professional at walking in heels. Like right. I've been wearing heels on a constant basis every basis ever since I could remember. Right. Um, but your feet never get used to that crazy arch or being in this uncomfortable position. So any shoe that allows me to put a gummy on the bottom, I am. Like I want to be comfortable. I don't want to worry about my feet. Right. So Wow. I, to me, like the first time you said it, I was just like genius. And then I was like, how, what was the reality of starting a company? Cause that's how a I'm lot scared. of, that's how a lot of companies start just in mm. general. I, I had an issue. I did not find an issue to my problem. So I fixed it. Yeah. And my problem Are allows me- Are you that me, hands on? I am, you know. I feel like I am a little smart. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. But how? Like what was, I mean, for, I guess for those, you know, cause obviously you're an entrepreneur. Yes. And I think that is just, girls look up to that. Yeah. Um, do you have any advice for, uh, yeah, aspiring? You know what? I would say just in general, my, the, let me see, how can I put it? The, what I always like to say to fellow entrepreneurs or anyone who wants to start a business or create their brand is do your research. Mm. Research is so important Facts. because even if you want to start lip gloss, there, <laughs> there, even if you want to start lip gloss, mm -hmm. there are about hundreds of thousands of lip glosses at this point. That's but very true. Do your research. If that's what you're so passionate about, do your research. How can your lip gloss be different? Mm. How can your packaging be different? What can you have on top of someone else that has already been there and done that with the lip gloss? Right. You know what I mean? Right. It's so many avenues to change something up. Is there a different formula for the lip gloss? Is it something gonna make yours stay once you go underwater? Damn. You know what I mean? Yo, that's real. Research is important. Right. Period. Damn, that means you spent a lot of time researching. Yes. Like, it was times where, just personally, I didn't research something that had to do with moving forward with my own products. Oh, okay. And I had to go back to the drawing board because if I would have did my research, I wouldn't have to went to the, back to the drawing board. Right. So yeah, that's why I'm like, that's my number one thing. Yeah. Man, I hear you. Okay, trivia question? Okay. All right, I'm like, wait, did I put? Oh yeah, I had it. Ready, Damon? Somebody's oh. saying get Shirley some shoe gummies. Yo. <laughs> Shirley. Right. We, Yo. We, Yo. we are working on male shoe gummies, like for, for dress shoes. Oh, wow. Like, let me tell you. I think Damon wants them for his Yeezys, I'm not gonna lie. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Let me tell you, guys complain about dress shoes with that one or two inch heel. Yo. Like, y'all, we wear three, four, five inches, and y'all complaining about this little thing, right? But I got y'all. I got y'all. <laughs> Wait, so it's coming out? Uh, I'm working on it. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Research, sure. research. Research. Yo. A lot of research. Yeah. I love that. Okay. Uh, oh, this is perfect timing. Look at God. All right. Why were high heels worn during the medieval period in Europe? Why were they? Why were they worn? Yeah. Ooh. We're going to put up a poll. I'm going to need y'all to clap and vote, clap and vote. Okay. To look classy, to avoid garbage, to be taller, to declare power. How'd I do on this, mm. Damon? I definitely know this one. Oh, okay. These trivia questions be hard to pick, y'all. This is a good one, though. Right? Yeah. Ooh, what do you think? They're saying it's to declare power. Someone said to avoid garbage. So, if I'm correct, it is to be taller. Men wore high heels first because they wanted to be taller. Uh, wah, wah, wah. No! <laughs> it is I think that was true, but 
Uh, the real reason was, was, was to avoid garbage. And yeah, <laughs> I know. I was like, oh my God. Was it that much trash? Apparently in Europe. Damn. And yo. I really, I really <laughs> thought it was to be taller. Yeah. Like Napoleon wore high heels because he had to be taller. Oh shit. How high? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, damn. Oh, wow. Shot time? Okay, okay. Well, I'm okay. going to give you a gift, too. Okay. I'm so sorry. Now you get rewarded with two times. Okay, I'm going to take my shot. Oh, yeah. Take your shot. Take your All shot. Right, I'm going to take my shot. Are y'all taking it with her? Salute. Salute. Do I get claps for a third yeah, shot? clap it up. Clap it up, y'all. That's impressive. I mean, okay. am I going to be intoxicated yeah. by the end? I feel like you go to you go to Mexico, so your tequila levels tolerance is probably. Oh yeah, I think I think my mom's gonna have to drive me home. Oh, I love <laughs> it! I love it. Okay. I love it. Okay, well this is a gift from Moon Rocks. Okay. Um, Ooh, wait. Right? Yo, right? I when I say I love packaging. Me too. This is why I need a product. It's Charlie. You Yo. do have a product. It's not mine. I wish they sponsored my show. Shout out to Hollywood, Hollywood oh. Shirley Temple Soda. Yeah, but people do think it's my soda, so we. Oh well. We gotta figure something out. Yeah. You should. But it's like I gotta figure out how to be different, cause. Right. Pa I love packaging too. Packaging is everything. Right. Yes. I agree. Yeah. People I gift that to literally like save the briefcase and they put I, it in their studio. I love this. <laughs> yep. Gets my mind. You know, yeah, and all that for good sure. Stuff. So the top is the pre rolls, and then these are all cartridges. Mm -hmm. um, and there's a battery in there for the bait pen. And this is a bunch of swag for you. This is dope. Right? Okay. We got you. Let's <laughs> see what's in here. Clap it up, clap it up. Stuff. The most random fact ever. That was a very random fact, y'all. That was a random fact. Any uh, crazy Mexico stories? Crazy Mexico stories. How often do you go? Uh, you know what? As of recently, I've probably been two or three times in the last six months. Okay. Um, but crazy, you know what? Okay. <laughs> this honestly has to do with my product, Shoe Gummy. So I recently went to Cancun, mm -hmm. um, and it was a uh, friend of mine's, uh, her really good friend's bachelorette. Ooh. So, like, I went there to actually do content and product okay. shots. Oh, wow. And then I would meet up with them and see what they're doing, like, lit, turned up. <laughs> it was a group of between, like, 10, 15 girls. Oh. And when I say all of them complained about their feet. You got them shoe gummy on all of <laughs> I wish I oh. did, but I'm just like, yo, these girls need shoe gummies, but it's really... A thing. a thing, yeah. Like we were at the restaurant, all of them were popping off their shoes, yeah. walking around barefoot. No, yes, it can never be that bad, y'all. Oh my god, it clearly was that Yo. bad. Like we went to the <laughs> club, we went to the strip club. Everybody was popping off their shoes. We were um, like, we need a place. They were like, we need a place. We need flip flops yeah. and all this other type of stuff. So I'm just like. Wow, like, Yo. damn, like, all of them are complaining about their feet. Yo. So, yeah, I'm really doing a really good thing. I'm, like, doing my justice in the right. world. Right, facts. You know what I mean? Y'all need this. <laughs> it's like a remedy. Yeah. I was going to say, when you lived in Vegas, I would imagine that's Vegas the is the central of... It's the number one place where you either, you're going to wear flats or you need some heels that have gummies on the bottom. Because a lot of girls hit us up and they're like, um, you know what, I'm going to Vegas and I need gummies for my shoes. Vegas is a lot of walking. It's like a marathon. Yeah, facts. To go from the um, the uh, elevators to the lobby, <laughs> That's it's so like a true. half a mile. Yeah. <laughs> It's like a half and a And then trying to find parking? Oh my goodness. It's, it's like terrible. Yeah. So yeah, Vegas is like the number one place. Right. Wait, how uh, how long were you there for? Um, in Vegas? Yeah. Like living? Yeah. Or um, I've probably lived in Vegas for like uh, seven, eight years. Oh, wow. Yeah. What brought you there? Um, a relationship. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Wait. Well, I think the people want to know. Uh, what's going on in Chantel's dating life? My dating life. Uh, hair flip. Uh, hair Can flip. we clap it up? Can we clap it up? Clap it up. Can clap it up, y'all. Clap, clap it up for, it my, up for my, my dating life. Yeah. 
Get, get, I'm, I'm gonna need y'all to hit a thousand, a thousand fifty, because we're at a thousand. Yay! Mm. Woo -hoo -hoo. I love it. I know. Um, you know what? I don't want to sound boring or anything, but I have no dating life. <laughs> I am so business minded mm. and in my bag right now that. DMs are not opened. I was gonna say those DMs are probably crazy, Chantel. You know what? DMs are crazy. Yeah. DMs are lit. It's it's a little popping. I'm is sure there are plenty of sugar daddies that are like, let me just take you shopping. <laughs> <laughs> DMs are a little lit, just a little bit. Yeah. But it's like I think I get more satisfaction like looking at them. <laughs> Maybe opening a few just to see that they know I opened it and I respond. <laughs> Yo, I'm done. Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. Um, Yo, get us a 1,200 claps. That was key right there. Um, I love it. But, um, yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't want to say I don't have time. I just see what my drive and persistence and my focus is getting me right now. I hear you. And I'm like, this bag is what I'm getting to. Right. And that's what I need. And is that shoe gummy? Is that the bag? Or is it a bunch of other, other hustles? Shoe gummy is the bag. My own branding is right. the bag. Um, you know what? Facts, at, that's true. <laughs> at, at a point in time, like, I was really into acting. Right. And I, I fell out of love for acting. And I told myself, you know what, I'm going to put 100% into my business at the time, which was shoe gummy. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what I started to do. And not until the pandemic hit that I started to do TikToks. And yeah, like, you've been killing it with the content. Just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, the sticks and all of that. And I think I got the acting book again. I love it. So recently, like I... Um, got a few, uh, <laughs> a few roles for. Yes, um, clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. It doesn't matter how big or small. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. have to start back somewhere. Um, so you'll see me. I think maybe like at the end of the summer, towards the fall. Okay. And like a few. Um, I love it. A few pictures. But yeah. I am wanting to like broaden my horizons and like really like really dive into like the act fantasy, like where it takes me. I love that. Uh, we don't begin to details, but because I found out after our interview, uh, what music videos you were in? No! And sure. I was just gonna, I was just gonna. Ask. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying. I was crying. Okay. <laughs> I was just saying one of them was one of my favorite songs. That okay. Song. What song is that? Uh, T.I. Yeah, let's get away. Oh my gosh, you know what's so funny? My mom dropped me off. To no. Oh, Vinny says, 
Yeah, one of the homegirls got exposed like that. Oh. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> That's why you're hoping they're really just fans and not like some hater. But it's fine. Uh, but yo, you know what's crazy? Only <laughs> you know what's crazy? Only fans reach out to me to onboard me. Like, have me on as this media personality. I was going to give tips about being a fucking yeah. journalist. Well, yeah, but the thing is, so I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, Cardi B, uh -huh. uh, the OnlyFans, and she was on there cooking with her daughter. Oh, and, like, oh yeah, they have shows. They have, they yeah. Have, so, like, food based on the show. You can tell them from that. All right, so if you remember, I don't know, do you want to show some action? No. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> do you want to show a little bit? What I was going to say was, I was thinking, oh, yeah, I'm going to come on here and do this shit. OnlyFans is literally not that. Like, no, no, no. no. It's, I was like, oh, do they even know? The way they're reaching out to me, they made it seem so corporate and like all this shit. Yeah, it's wild. That's what I was saying. Like, I know certain girls do or guys do certain things on there, but it's also geared towards like real professional stuff <laughs> or what yeah, your true. audience isn't really seeing somewhere else. Right. So, why not? Yeah. Facts. You can teach people how to make shoes every Monday. Well, you know what? I, it was a, a joke amongst my friends, but I was like, I don't know. I get so many crazy DMs from people who want to pay me to see my toes. Oh my god! Dressed in honey. See, like foot <laughs> stuff. Like foot that Only feet. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then you so, think, why are they obsessed with this? Yeah, but it's like a real community of people that are have foot fetishes. That's so interesting. So it was like, I was like, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, hmm. <laughs> it's only my feet. <laughs> like, what? How much are they offering? Right, how much are they offering? How much do you want of this video with me pouring milk on my toe? Wait, it was a milk or honey? Milk, honey. Oh my god, I hate milk. Lexi told you that too. Oh yeah, Lexi told me to get on OnlyFans. No, she told you how much money she made on her feet. Oh, oh See? yeah. It was $200, right? She just wakes up, takes pictures of her feet. Yo. Money. Yeah. Well, you Girl, you got feet on there? No. I made like $400 the other day showing off my anklet. No. I was like, good morning. You I think wait, it was 400 400 or $400? $400. Okay, I was like. I was like, here, are you post a selfie of your feet selfie. What? Uh, I don't like feet. <laughs> I can probably get money just slipping my feet into my shoes. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's what Wow, it must be nice, Chantel. <laughs> <laughs> Clap it up, clap it up, clap it up. <sighs> only tell us someone said. Shout out to Aaron. All right, we're going to do another trivia question. Shoe gummy only fans? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. <laughs> I'm dead. All right, you ready, Damon? What TV series showed the first interracial kiss on American network television? I'm going to need y'all to vote and clap it up. And Oh, my God, Mom is cheating. Mom. We have a cheater in the building. <laughs> My mom is a, a Star Trek junkie. Oh my gosh, I knew I should. <laughs> I literally was like, I'm trying to. Wait, did she know the episode number? Oh my gosh, dang. Okay, mom, yeah. it's not your questions. <laughs> I love that. Wait, does but, that make you a Star Trek fan since she's a Star Trek fan? We, I think we just watched it by default. Okay. <laughs> so yeah. Wait, so is it Star Trek over Star Wars? That's that's the biggest question. Um, yeah, I would take Star Trek over Star Wars. Oh, mom's here. Oh, is that normal? Look, Don't somebody people... somebody has my mom's name up here. Email. Oh shoot. E what is it? Email Jack. Oh. That's my name. Hey. I'm sorry, Miss Jackson. Ooh. <laughs> I am for real. Man, yo, I ran into Andre 4000 recently. Is it, you mean 3000? 3000. <laughs> <laughs> yo! Shirley. Yeah. Do we need some claps for Shirley? Wait, hold on. <laughs> in my defense, in my defense, this YouTube channel said Andre 2000. That tripped me up. Okay. In my, wow. Shirley. <laughs> You're just, gonna, you're just gonna give him a whole new no. name. I blame the weed, y'all. I blame the weed. Okay, you I'm get a pass. It. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I ran into Andre 3000 recently. Mm -hmm. And it was a moment, because I was just like, that's a unicorn in the wilderness. Oh, yeah. It was beautiful. For sure. 
he is like so eclectic and like yeah. his his own being and doesn't care what anybody has to say what anybody else is doing i'm gonna do me right so yeah facts and the music the music wow that that miss jackson song when that came out i think i was in just kind of middle school oh my gosh they were singing that to you in middle school that's adorable yeah. wow yeah. i would have sang along i think for ever sure. since i was 14 15 like when the homeroom teacher said miss jackson everybody went ooh. <laughs> it's just always been a thing always that's so, so yeah. cute have you ran into outcast at all no oh okay but shout out to outcast right you know? I am the Miss Jackson. Fact. No, I'm dead. <laughs> well, since uh, Miss Jackson got the answer correct, this is a gift from Hemper. Okay. This is, they make really cute bongs and cleaning supplies. Oh my god. And this is the popcorn theme box, and I love popcorn. Y'all see this? Y'all see this? Do you go to the movies? I do. I am a movie head. Me too. And I haven't been in a long time, and I'm Wait. very upset about it. You have to go to the movies. Yo, I know. I, I would love to. Um. So I, I took my mom to the movies yesterday. We oh my gosh! Jurassic Park. I went to a screening of it. Oh, was it? You know, I, was it? I liked it. People yeah. were hating, but I like. I thought it was cute. Yeah, they brought back like all the old characters and all that good stuff. Wait, were you in the theater and everyone was clapping when the when the OGs came on the screen? No. Oh, okay. It was it was more quiet in there. Cause I was in the like in, it was like a preview of it, but I love when the theater like erupts and. In applaud, mm -hmm. just like everyone just being excited to be there. Yeah. It's a moment. I just got all the goodies. Yeah, so the, the, they make cleaning supplies too. Okay. And then this is also a gift from Al Capone. Um, do you have uh, friends that smoke? Cause yeah, they going. Who who said I didn't smoke? Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. I didn't say I did not. Wait, I can't wait for you to try this then. Ooh, oh I love a good lighter. <laughs> Yes. Right? Man, well, what are you most excited for? What can we expect next? Uh, you know what? So with my brand, Shoe Gummy, we, we started off with black as a color. Right. Um, for the product. Now we just moved into tan, as you guys can see Ooh. on the bottom of my shoes. And, you know, us ladies, or I don't want to just say ladies because men wear high heels too. Yeah. Um, if, they, if you love your red bottoms, we just got red as well for them Louboutins. Mm. So uh, we just dropped colors. Um, we have round and pointed style. And I am, you know, trying to figure out this thing with acting and getting back into that for and sure. all that good stuff. So For sure. Yeah. That's beautiful. Well, I was going to ask because the people need to know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's the tea, Shirley? Right, what is the tea, What is the tea? What, is the tea? what do you think I'm going to ask? No, I'm just kidding. Something. <laughs> um, I know you uh, recently were on Shade Room. Was I? Yeah. Because you said you made a little reel about if you would date another rapper. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, it wasn't exactly would I date another rapper. Um, I, I think you guys know how TikTok goes. Yeah. TikTok, TikTok goes at this time, like, with the trending sound yeah. and all that other stuff. So I, I seen the sound and I was like, what would be funny to go with this? Yeah. And with that sound, it was some, it was something to go along the lines of being sarcastic. Right. Of course. Yeah. So. I love it. Um, I have dated a rapper. Right. I think, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't know that? She dated um, now, y'all. Just saying. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm crying. Okay. Um, uh, so yeah, dated a rapper, and I am single, of course. Yeah. But I just thought it was funny to do that and put what the the verbs that I put with it. And I don't know, you know, I can't say that honestly. I would never date another rapper. I don't know. Where life is gonna take me, Facts. or what's gonna happen. Facts. Um, so, you know, my door is not closed. Yeah. <laughs> you know, she does not, not discriminate, y'all. I don't discriminate. Yeah. You know, but um, it was it was it was jokey, and 
I think sometimes people take social media so seriously. For sure. Like, I look at it and, you know what, during the pandemic, I think a lot of people started to see my personality with yeah. like TikTok skits mm -hmm. with, you know, oh my gosh, she is funny. Yeah. Or she has more to say. Yeah. Or um, she can do this and that, I didn't know. And I think at this time, it is good to laugh. Right. And to enjoy what you're watching. Right. And not be so serious. Right. Like, who wants to be serious all the time? Right. I really laugh. <laughs> I agree. I love laughing. Yeah. That's like the number one thing. For sure. But I have to ask though, was it hard just given, you know, obviously their tour touring schedule, blah, blah, blah. Like, was it, is it, was it difficult? Um, I wouldn't say it was difficult. Okay. I would say at the time when we were together, we were dating, whatever you want to call it, um, I did travel with him a lot. Mm -hmm. um, when, when most of my work was through emails or phone calls and stuff like that. And once I had launched my product, I was at home more. Mm -hmm. I had to be more hands-on. I was right. less on the road. Mm -hmm. And I would just honestly say, like, we kind of grew, kind of like grew apart. Okay. And not to say, like, oh, it was in a bad way and all this other stuff. It was just sometimes when people are together, it is natural to grow apart, and that's okay. Yeah. So... Is that, was it like almost falling out of love? Like, um, I don't know who that be, but. <laughs> I, I wouldn't say like falling out of love. It's just like, I'm going this direction. Mm -hmm. Like, he's going this direction. Mm -hmm. And it's not, you know, like a direction for both of us. Got it. And life just happens. Yeah. Like, that's it. That's why I'm scared of marriage. Uh, you're scared. I, I you have a boyfriend. I do have a boyfriend. You do have a boyfriend. Yeah. Okay. So. But yeah, no, no one did that. But. Okay. Yeah, I'm like, see, clearly. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. What is your take on marriage? My take on marriage. You know what? I'm I'm not opposed to marriage. Okay. I just think when you have a connection with someone, yeah, it's all about the connection. It's all about the connection. Yeah. Like nothing can break that. Ah. And. Like, I'm all for love and being in love. I need that loyalty before love. Ooh, loyalty before love. Yeah, loyalty is just everything to me. I was someone, I remember this artist, Baywatch. Um, wait, no, Baby Kid? Wow. Anyway, uh, <laughs> he asked me loyalty or love, and I um, didn't. Yeah, I didn't know what to say. What do you think? I mean, I mean, I, now that I think about it, loyalty, but I'm like, oh, I want, I want love, like love, I didn't want it. I think with loyalty, love will come, but I don't know, like, I need someone that is down for me, like, I'm down for them. Yeah. Like, when I'm really into someone, like, I'm loyal, like, this is my person, like, yeah. it's, it's just, we're clicking, we're connecting, yeah. like, just, I don't know. I hear you. I feel you on that. Man, well, oh, I was going to end with this. Uh, what do you think about marriage? <laughs> I'm scared. I'm just scared of the goal thing, I feel like. Well, I'm scared of, like, commitment, first of all. Commitment. Well, just trust issues. Yeah. And then, oh, what I'm scared about marriage is at the end of it, having, like, it not working out. Like, that scares me. That's the part that I'm scared of. Yeah. No, I definitely feel you. I feel like these days, like, people just jump into something and they take marriage as like, I don't know what they think. Like I know like marriage can just be like something you sign, like it's Ooh, that's your, name part on, too. Yeah. Your, your name on a paper. Y'all split the money, <laughs> like what? Right, but it's so much more than that. It's like mentally this commitment that we have between each other. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. the loyalty. Yeah. Like the, it's, you know how someone, someone's like, oh, we have like a verbal agreement? Right. When you're in a relationship, that's a verbal commitment. Mm -hmm. Like, your commitment to each other, your loyalty to each other. Right. So. I was going to ask, because, also, I, I know you're on the Platinum Life with Lola. Shout out to Lola. I love Lola. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. Lola's like one of my favorite people in the world. Me too. Uh, and I can just imagine you guys.
guys together and I love it because they can't. Shits and giggles. Yeah. Always shits and giggles. <laughs> and y'all are beautiful. Yeah. I it's love them like to death. I love it. But I know the show you were, I think you were looking at engagement ring. Was it there? Was it like? Yeah, I was. I was looking at engagement ring at the time. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Yeah. How did that feel though? Um, you know what? It it was I wouldn't say it was a surreal moment. Mm -hmm. It was um kind of like the stand of like what we were talking about at the time. Right. So you know, looking at engagement rings wasn't like a far fetched thing. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know. And then, you know, when you're in a relationship, you're looking at rings. You can also kind of like give hints of like, this is what I like. Yeah. This is the size, or this is the yeah. style. This is the stone. Or, you, know, you know what it's supposed to be. Yeah. Yeah, my brother got, uh, my brother, yeah, they're engaged. Um, her ring cost 35K. I'm like, what? Mm. Your, your brother? Yeah. Your brother got all the money. No. <laughs> The ring she wanted, you know? Yeah, like, you know what's so funny? So, recently, someone told me a story about um, some, some people they know got engaged, and the guy got the girl a ring that um, she did not like. Oh. And she told him that, well, you, you gotta change this. And I'm like, what do, what do you feel about that? Like, is it proper to say you don't like an engagement ring style that someone gave you? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Just because I'm thinking if it was me and I didn't like it, yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Yeah, exactly. And yeah. he would want you to be happy or no? Right. I guess. Do you feel like she shouldn't have that was out of line? Um, I don't think it was out of line. Okay. I mean, if something's bothering you, and say it. Yeah. At the end of the day, is either a no or I don't know. This is what I got you, but say what's on your mind. Bro. Yeah. That's packed. Okay, wait. I want to ask one more question because. My own girl actually did get her eggs frozen. I know y'all were in talks about that, yeah, right? Yeah. Did you end up doing it? I didn't. Okay. I did. Why not? Um. Or was know, that a thing for TV? No, no, no. So it was real. It wasn't a thing for TV. Like I was really, really into it. And you know what? Freezing your eggs is a a really big commitment. They do surgery, don't they? Yeah, they do Yo, surgery. My mind was blown. I was like, oh my god. They do surgery, and it is a process. So you have to go through weeks with getting these injections, um, which I was kind of doing at a certain point, but I just couldn't really go through with it. Um, we were filming. Um, I was doing a lot of work flies. So once you're like giving yourself these injections, and these injections, they're like hormone, hormone injections, mm -hmm. and they like kind of like force your eggs to come down. Crazy. And once your eggs come down, they go in surgically and retrieve the eggs. Oh, it's like a, it is, it's a process. Yeah, research, you did a research. I did a research. <laughs> no, it's, it is a process. But I honestly feel like now more than ever, girls are doing it. Like, yeah. It's so popular. Yeah, girls are because I'm like, I'm 31, I'm about to be 35. <laughs> Did you say I'm 31? I'm about to be 35. Yeah. Surely. <laughs> Surely. I'm getting close. Oh my gosh. You know what? I think with, with just modern medicine and how we're taking care of our bodies, women are having babies at 40. Man, like, like it's nothing. Yeah. Now I think about it, I feel like my parents have them when they were older. Yeah, see? When did OG Miss Jackson have you? My mom had me at like, what, 28? Ooh. Yeah. That's pretty young. Yeah. And you have like four siblings now? Or three? Or no. That's fine. I have five siblings. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm the fifth. I'm the middle child. I'm the middle child. Yes. Middle child. So, so yeah, it is, it is four. Um, oh, okay. Five with me included. Okay. I'm the first girl. My mom has two girls, two boys. Two boys. Oh wow, are you close to them? Yeah. I'm like, I love my brother. Yeah. <laughs> Is that just you and your brother? Yeah, yeah. We're like a year and a half apart. Yeah. I mean, he puts up, he put up with me for a long time. <laughs> he put up with you. Bro, I was a wild kid. Were you wild? Um, <laughs> was I wild? Um, I think I did have my moments. 
Yeah. I have my moments. Did you get grounded? <laughs> yeah, I've gotten grounded. I've gotten grounded. She got what? Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Oh, you got, what did you do that one time you got grounded really bad, Chantel? I think I was out with a boy. Oh! Past curfew? Past curfew. <laughs> Past curfew. <laughs> Past curfew. Past curfew. <laughs> I was with my best friend at, this, at the time. I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I was just out. Okay? <laughs> I'm <laughs> done! She didn't tell mom. She didn't tell mom. <laughs> Dang, when you're at that age, I feel like, do you even remember <laughs> Chantel? At work. <laughs> she got home early. <laughs> Yo, I love that because she probably knows the exact moment. Okay, so this is a gift from St. Perry, but it's a little big. Oh, I'm like, my heart. So they make like pajama sets and socks Ooh, and um, I love, things you know, for you to travel I'm in. I'm so into socks right now. Yo, I love the crew socks. I, I love the the high socks. Oh, okay, those are cute too. Yeah, to yeah. show like, you know, all yeah. that. Are these scarves? Yes. Oh yeah. Yes. Ooh. Okay, so we're gonna end with a Templeton Spitfire round. Okay. Is that cool? Okay. All right, oh, you can still, oh, you're good. All it's right. a little big. <laughs> Chris, Chris will help you out. Um. Okay. You ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's like, let me prepare. All right. Uh, well, first of all, thank you all for watching. Oh, someone said Lola Monroe hearts. Clap it up, clap it up. Yes, Cla oh. clap it up for my baby, Lola. Clap, clap we need up. some claps for Lola. We got to get to 1,500. Can we, do, can we get to 1,500 uh, with this Spitfire round? I'm going to need y'all to clap it up more. I'm going to need y'all to clap it up more. 1,400. Let's lower it. 1,400. Come on. Clap it up, y'all. 1,400. Thank you. Thank you, I appreciate y'all. Thank you for clapping, okay. <laughs> Being fast, I love it, okay. Ready, Ten, this is the 10 plus 10 Spitfire round. Uh, first question, favorite emoji? Favorite emoji? Ooh, Ooh I, I would love to know what Chantel texts with. My favorite emoji? Uh, <laughs> damn, I like a lot of emojis. Yeah, me too. But I think I'm always putting the emoji with the big cheese sign. Aw, yeah. that's cute. That means you're happy. Yeah. <laughs> Favorite thing to do for self care? Ooh, I like this. Um, for self care, mm, self care. This might be a little weird, but <laughs> I I have to take time for myself to watch a show mm. or a movie. Mm. I don't know what it is about it. Is it, it helps get my mind off of other stuff. Facts. So yeah. What show are we watching? Mm, a show that I'm watching right now is, you know, it just came back on is Snowfall. All, oh no, 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 uh, that just went off. Oh, but um, she knows. Yeah, uh, I was just watching that. Oh, that's funny. The All American. Oh, okay, I haven't seen that. Oh, Damon watches that. Yeah, yeah. So they're like on their fourth season. Oh wow. Saying, and it just came back on. Oh okay. So yeah, it's a spinoff. They have a spinoff. Got you. Okay. Um, dumbest bag you ever dropped. <laughs> Dumbest bag? Yeah. <sighs> Melly dropped 50K on Gucci. I was like, wow. Ooh. It's uh, a lot of Gucci. Dumbest bag. You know what? I wouldn't even say it's a dumb bag. Um, uh, probably buying some Birkins. Oh, really? I wouldn't say it's a dumb bag. Okay. Because the resale factor on Birkins. Oh, is, do you be reselling shit? Is is stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can. What do you use? Put me on. Cause I take my shit to crossroads, I don't make shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, why am I even here? Um, you know, I either have my own eBay store. Oh, damn. Yeah. Okay. Or um, the real real. The what? The real real. Oh, is that our app? Um, it's um, it's the actual like. Oh, it's a store. store. Okay. They have cool. An app, a website, all that. Since you're big on fashion, do you wear the same outfit twice? Yes. I do. <laughs> she said yes, y'all. Clap, clap, clap it up. Clap it up. Let's get to 1,500, y'all. Clap it up. Clap it up. Clap it up. Clap it up for the recycle for outfit. wearing outfit. We got to, you know, clap it up. 1,500, y'all. Clap. Claus is clapping in real life, acting like it's so <laughs> <laughs> Oh, shit. 
What was that? What was that? It's just the box. It's oh, just the that box. scared yeah. me. That scared me a lot. Um, okay. Yeah, so, you know, if I've worn an outfit either on the carpet or I posted it on social media, um, <laughs> I might not, I don't know, post the whole outfit again, but... I'll wear things in like different segments. So if I really some really really like something, I won't wear it on the carpet again. Yeah. But I'll wear it maybe going out somewhere else. Like right. if I really like it, I'm like fuck it. This is my outfit. I right. paid my money. Yeah. The hell. That's I'm, true. I'm regular just like anybody else. Yeah. Forget all that social media stuff. Like <laughs> these pants right here. Those are cute. I'm gonna wear again. Yeah. <laughs> what are your shoes? Um, these are Alexander McQueen. Oh, okay, nice, nice. Uh, these are... Um, fit check, fit check. Alexander Clap Wang. it up, we're almost to 1,500. Yes. Did you do that on purpose to match the Alexander? I'm just kidding. I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Alexander Wang, and this is a, a Zara top. Mm, what about your necklace? Necklace? Um, it's just um, some platinum and diamonds. Mm. So, yeah. And these these earrings are... Those are um, cute. Paco Rabanne. Ooh, yeah. Is that a designer? Yeah. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay, uh, biggest fear? Biggest fear? Getting old. Yo, me too. Yeah. Yeah, we got to 1,500 claps. Yay! We love you. We love you. Um, yeah. I feel like the older I get, my back is just like, I'm like, wait. It's not even that. It's like, um, it's, it's not a thing like, oh my gosh, like I'm this age or whatever. It's just... I don't know, getting old. Yeah. What am I going to potentially miss out on <laughs> with, I, I don't know. It's just, I can't get over it. Me too. I'm very scared. Yeah. Me too. Like, what do we do? Is there like a therapy for that? Like, I don't think it is. Because <laughs> then you meet people and they're like, oh, the, you know, they say it's the best years of your life. And I'm like, I guess mm -hmm. if you're retired and you're. No, 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 no. Okay. We're not, we're not gonna, no, the best okay. years of your life. No. Who All wants, right now. All who, right now. Right. Present moment. Who wants to get old? Right. I'm, I don't know. <laughs> Facts. Um, celebrity crush. Shirley. <laughs> she looked at me with the eyes, y'all. Celebrity crush. You know what? Someone that I am crushing on, they have a girlfriend. Oh, yeah, it's okay. They don't have to be, uh, yeah, it's oh, just a crush. It's just a crush. Yeah. So the guy who's playing Elvis right now. Ooh. In um, the new Elvis. Is it in theaters? Because I'm about to go. I think at the end of this month or next month. <laughs> oh, it's like okay. the new Elvis um, biography okay. or whatever. Oh, okay, fire. I don't know, like, <laughs> girl. What if you end up on set with him? I don't know. Right. <laughs> No, but okay, yeah, he does have a girlfriend, but yeah, he is really sexy. <laughs> I don't know. And he plays Elvis, come on. And he plays Elvis. Like, right. You know what's so funny? My mom was gonna call my brother Elvis. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. What's his name now? TR. Okay. Yeah, I my, love it. Why was it, was it gonna be because of Elvis? Yes. <laughs> I love Elvis. My dad was like, no. Oh <laughs> my God. <laughs> That is hilarious. Yeah. No, nah, but we love us some Elvis. That's yeah. a legend. Um, favorite sex position? Shirley. <laughs> Everyone on my show is Chanel West Coast, Lexi. They my all answered. Mom is here, though. Shirley. Has anyone else's mom been on our shoes? Oh my gosh. Okay, can, can we whisper it? Yeah. Uh, doggy style. Doggy style. <laughs> Oh, my bad. My bad. She said whisper. I'm so sorry. We're going to put up Snoop's cover. Doggy style. I love it. Oh, my god. I love it. Uh, biggest guilty pleasure? Um, eating. <laughs> what is... Oh, yeah. What, what is the big... Like, do you have cheap food? Is that... Uh, French fries. Okay. Cakes. Cookies. <laughs> Yeah. My boyfriend loves french fries. Yeah. French fries are a, oh my gosh. <laughs> it's like a real guilty pleasure. Can't get over it. Never, <laughs> ever, ever, ever. Who has the best french fries, Chantel? Put us, french fries, Chantel, put us on. Who, oh. Yo. I don't know. I you in the LA area, listen. Who has the best french Unless, fries? Unless, it, it doesn't have to be LA. Um, but you know, when you're craving those french fries, where do you go? Mmm. I don't want to say 
because yeah <laughs> it is it is mcdonald's wait oh my gosh <laughs> clap it up clap it up it is clap it it's up like, no no matter how unhealthy oh my god or whatever it's just when you're out and you're just like let me just grab a good fry or yeah something, you just can't go wrong with those but it doesn't end there. Yeah. I, I, I love all types of french fries just in general. Right. McDonald's is good. When I was growing up as a kid, I always thought Burger King was better. I, I love Burger King fries okay. as They're well. onion rings, though? I, I love onion rings. Yeah. I love onion rings. Yo. Yes. Yeah, can't go wrong with Burger King or McDonald's. Uh, <laughs> Even, you know, even being at home and getting the potatoes and oh, cutting Oh, you do up. it yourself? Do you cook? I do cook. Did you learn it from? I learned from my mom. Okay, I love it. Collard greens. Okay. Macaroni and cheese. Mm, then you probably throw down. A little bit. <laughs> you know. Are you doing that on? Because I, yo, I love cooking videos. I'm like, if you made a cooking TikTok, I would watch it. <laughs> you know what? I, I did want to get into it, but... It's a lot of work. They be it like is. detailed. Some somebody has to help me through that. Yeah, you it's, need to hire a social media manager. It's a lot of work and yeah. that goes into that. But I feel like it could also be very informative. Like if it's a recipe that you really fuck with and you yeah. want the world to know. Banana pudding. Ooh, ooh. You like banana pudding? Um, I'm trying to be vegan, so I don't if it's vegan maybe. Yeah. You trying to be How about vegetarian? Yeah, least? I'm vegetarian as fuck. I oh, hate meat okay. scares me. Okay, well, banana pudding is vegetarian. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Okay, so next time, I got Chantel, you. you invite Chantel to the function. She gonna bring her banana pudding. Yeah. I love it. Yo, that's probably fire too. It is. Is that your favorite dessert? Uh, between that and like a good carrot cake. <laughs> carrot cake is oh, fire. You know what? What's another guilty pleasure? Pleasure. <laughs> Um, like cake out of the box, box cake. Oh shit! What is box cake? Box cake, like from the grocery store. Oh, okay. You mix it up, make oh, it. Oh, I, I, Chantel, I was that girl in high school baking those cakes for my it's, friend's birthday. It's crack. Yo, in the fucking. It's crack. It's literally the confetti crack. frosting. Just it's. I don't know like how anything really beats it. It's moist. Yo. It's good. Yeah. Wow. That just made me want to make a cake, mm -hmm. but we got to make it vegan. <laughs> I don't think you can make a box cake vegan. There has to be. There, it's already, or, it already comes with certain ingredients. Oh yeah, the egg, the egg. Yeah. I'm dead. Okay, last question. First thing that comes to mind, Chantel. Chantel Jackson, Miss Jackson. Whichever one you want to. What, first thing that comes to mind? Yeah, like what's the first thing that comes to mind when you think of yourself? If you're nasty. Hey! <laughs> Wait, I saw Lola po uh, post that as a comment and I laughed. Uh, oh, Miss Jackson. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I would like to. I commented. <laughs> that was cute. Man, well, thank you for coming on Shirley's Temple. I'm so glad I made it Yo, over here. Yo, we manifested this. Yeah, we thank did. Thank you for coming. I, I honestly thank you for coming because it doesn't, it takes a lot to leave the crib. Like, yeah. You know? So thank you. I appreciate, I appreciate you. the opportunity. Yeah, of course. Yay. Yay. Thank you, Encore, for watching. Okay. <laughs> yo, my so, brother texted me, yo, the, he's like the 35, 35K ring. <laughs> 35, 35K? I said 35K. Did I say 100? No, you said K. Oh, okay. Yeah. $35,000. I mean, she was shopping at t for $200,000 ring. That's what I'm saying. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh. So, thank you guys for turning up. <laughs> Three shots in, y'all. Right, three shots in. <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning in. Um, you can view my page at, at Miss Jackson. That's M-I-S-S Jackson on Instagram. And thank you guys for not the ooh. Thank you guys for tuning in to Shirley's Temple. You can view this interview as well on clapsforencore.com. Encore and YouTube. Yay! Yay! I hope you guys enjoyed everything. Yay! You didn't hear me? It was truly oh, from back there. Oh. <laughs> they threw me out because I was too loud. Oh. <laughs> <I can't. laughs>